start recording before the show gets started. You see that? I'm learning. I'm like Skynet in that respect. I just get smarter and smarter, and then I launch robots to take over the world. You know what it's like. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brian Brushwood. Tonight we're doing a super, welcome to the super short show. The super short show, lacking content or focus or direction. Mainly I'm just trying to make you guys happy because it seemed like a bunch of people wanted a little bit of a show before I headed off to New York tomorrow. First big gig. I'm joined Woo. over here to my right by the new Captain MG. I mean, not that there was an old Captain MG, but the new well, number one man original. on the road. You got all original content here. Yeah. That's right. Unlike the rest of my show, where nothing's original. Allegedly. <laughs> so, by the way, you may notice that we do not have anyone already queued up on the co-host line. We could try to throw somebody in the last minute. If you want to join us, feel free to Skype in at uh, Skype BB Live Show. You can go to, of course, at any time, you can go to the website bbliveshow.com. That'll forward you right to this chat room where most of you guys are. And I must say, this is sort of a last-minute deal. I, I really wasn't planning to put anything together. Yeah, that's right. I, I messed you guys up. <laughs> oh, I did it again. See, what, what did I promise what? I wasn't going to do? You weren't going to check the chat room. I wasn't going to look at the chat room because it just kills everything. It just becomes a show where I just suddenly stop and quote random nonsense. You that know, means I should, nothing. I should have kept that roll of paper towels up here from last night in case of any spills. And if you do check the chat room, just give you a little whack. You know, I actually saw I actually saw the soggy mess of paper towels in the middle of the desk. In fact, my keyboard is very sticky now. This is a very sticky keyboard. I'm not entirely sure that the keys will type. Who's the other guy? Somebody's asking who the other guy is. So we've got to, that's, that's okay. Me. Somebody. Somebody missed. There you go. That's an example of my typing for those of you in the chat room. Yeah, this is Captain G, Mr. Mike Delante. You know, I haven't made you. Do you, do you. Do you like. I like calling you the number two, but that sounds like poop. I don't yeah. want to call you poop. I, I'm, I, I understand. I understand. Well, we still haven't figured out a uh, sufficient title for you yet, so it'll be a work in progress. I do I like, like. me. I do like. Heyo. I do like the idea of it having the word captain in it. I think that's pretty cool. And I'm actually setting this up. If I appear distracted, it's only because I am. Because there we go. We're setting that up right there. we got to put up our little organizational thing. All right, guys. The big topic tonight was brought to my attention by none other than Rabid Badger sitting in the chat room with us right now. Give number two a mic. You've got yeah, a mic. I've, I've got a mic. It's, oh, we got uh, we got to turn this mic up. Yeah, we got to jack it up. You can't bit, hear. You can't hear Mike Galante. Right, how, how are we going here now? How are we going here now, guys? How you like him can now? You hear me now? Hear, can you hear me now? See, and then you got to wait for the delay. That's right. the killer thing. Now they oh, say good. good. That's why you got to do everything in stages. You can't just keep going volume up. Or by the time they say good and you stop, you're, you're blasting them out and, they're, and it's messing them up. Yeah. All right. So today we're going to talk about uh, NPR and our attempts to, I don't know, about weasel our way onto it. And, and I'm going to, can't really make an announcement. I got something that I want to announce, but it's not quite okay, public that. information yet. And it's not even like I'm trying to do that weaselly type thing. Oh, don't worry, Travis. We're recording. Yep. Everybody noticed. Did you hear this? Everybody in the chat room. And I did it again. <laughs> that was I, I had, you got me again with Oh, killing me. Okay. So what what's the website? Can you post the website, Rabbit Badger, with the list of guests and the topic for a certain NPR presentation of Science Friday coming up in only 36 hours? We'll see if he's able to get that. But in the meantime, basically, for those of you who don't listen to Science Friday on NPR, they do a bunch of really interesting topics ranging from hard science to psychology. And it turns out that this week they're doing a program on the psychology of why people fall for scams. Interesting. That's right. Scams, don't you say. say. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Please, and, tell me more. Well, uh, that's uh, that's all I know right now. I'm hoping that we'll get – there we go. Science Friday program archives. Wait, archives from the future? This is confusing me. Go Ability, broadcast Friday, January 9th, 2009. Now, I don't know if this is coming up or it's already been recorded or what. Can science explain why some swindles are so successful? Why are some people more likely to try to buy the Brooklyn Bridge or send money to the heir of a deposed Nigerian prince online? In this segment of Science Friday, we'll talk about gullibility and the psychological principles that work in scams. From the $15 genuine Rolex to the Bernard Madoff Ponzi scheme, teachers find more information about using Science Friday, blah, 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 blah. Uh, by the way, did you notice that no mess ups, no, no second takes? That's nice me working job. on my Leo Laporte radio voice. I got a long way to go. I, got, I still got to hit puberty to get that, that rich baritone. 
Of, well, another uh, year or two. Another two. When the other testicle drops, it's going to yeah. be lovely. This sounds pretty good. I want to see what this is. And mainly, I'm super interested in the guests they have because they're talking about what makes people suckers. And I've got a program. I, I can't say what yet. I'm actually contractually obligated not to say what. But I've got a program that I'm going to be doing in a couple of months. And I need to find some guests who are experts on this kind of thing. And so what should happen? But science can't... I, I, I did it again. I read it again. I read it again. I need a graphic. Quit looking over there. I need a graphic where Mr. Happy Pants just yells. He goes, Bad Brian. Every time. And it just, just bumps it right in. So the question that Rabbit Badger was asking, which I think is a fair one, was is there some way to weasel our way or our manner of presence into the show and one thing i wanted to say and he mentioned specifically is like besides obviously spamming them or spamming them or with twitter spam or and sure. although he did give the twitter he actually mentioned the twitter specifically like oh besides spamming twitter and he gives the twitter i'm just like <laughs> oh you guys are gonna you know let's not make this into a ron paul thing where uh, <laughs> where where we win the battle and lose the war <laughs> We was it? We win the argument, but we lose the room. That's what. That's how it goes. There you go. But uh, I thought that was an interesting idea. To be honest, this kind of thing is usually planned out a long time in advance, and I honestly don't know if there's any way for us to weasel our presence in there, except for something very, very. Oh, don't, uh, Travis! Please do not spam them. And, th and that I'm sorry, I did look at the chat room, but it's good because uh, you guys uh, do not do not spam them. That only gives us a bad name. But. It might be interesting if you guys were to call and uh, find out if there's some way to mention something on topic. I mean, uh, you know, a plug, a yeah. minor plug, a soft plug. Nobody likes nobody likes a hard plug. It's starting to sound like like an ungrounded plug. Like an, an ungrounded only plug. Only two prong. Yes, thank you yeah. for for saving me there. I was heading down a dark alley with the hard plug. Well, I'm right there with the two by four behind you. In case I look at the chat room. Is there anything uh, that anything else left to say on this? You know, we uh, we I saw this and I thought this was super interesting. I got something else we want to talk about real quick. Anyone want, have anything to say about this? Yeah, you're hoping we'll come up with something better than spamming that will just get ignored. Yeah, not only will it get ignored, but it'll actually engender hostility against whatever it is you're trying to plug or make popular. So that's important. But we do have a little something, a little something to share. Let me go ahead, and you would think that I would have some or all of this taken care of. But it turns out I'm a little bit slower than you actually thought. And so what I'm going to do, and I believe I've got my cameras here set up. And there we go. Here it is right there. 589 digs. We ended up Hello. We hit that. We hit the front of the page. 589 digs. Uh, the comments I thought were pretty interesting. Um, I was surprised that uh, people mainly wanted to talk about pot, which uh, tells you a little bit of something about <laughs> about the clientele on dig they mainly wanted to chew him out because a while back sanjay general uh sanjay general that's what i'm going to call him for now sanjay yeah. general uh the the surgeon gupta uh w w he he wrote an article an op-ed saying why i would not vote for pot legalization and basically said hey uh you know pot's not good for you which right. you know i don't think anyone was necessarily claiming uh but the comments if you want to read the comments you can they're up on the dig i think they're up around 120 comments but i thought that was pretty cool that was kind of an interesting that was an interesting gift from the heavens. And I did watch, I also watched the the Daily Show, and they did show footage of yeah. Sanjay Gupta eating fire. And it was from the segment that, that I was in, but it was the three seconds of the entire segment that didn't take place at my house. But still, it was pretty cool because, like, well, hey, that's so. from the special I was yeah. on. And, you know, now I'm only one step away, not only from Barack Obama, but also from uh, John Stewart. John Stewart. Although well, I think I had some other, Colbert report. you know, maybe I think that uh, does entitle me to do something like that. By the way, uh, we are doing a, an abbreviated show for those of you just joining us, and uh, we do have openings. If you want to call in, Skype in with a question, here's the contact on here. Now, unlike the previous episodes, I don't know if you know this, but we have a crack team of stenographers who actually come up with show topics. We plan everything out in advance. We set up every single cue. It's all highly technical. This uh, this episode, we're not doing that because we're only going to do a, a short. 30, 40 minute thing. Who wants to learn fire eating Say, so yeah, bad? I, Magic Man and Mortimer, they want to learn to eat fire. Uh, uh, isn't there a book or some literature or maybe a uh, DVD? What? A divda of sorts? What a good 
question. Did you say divda? Is that yes. what you just said? It took yes. me a second a to, to put that together in my mind. That, that's what it is. If I can read left only, to right. If only there were a website featuring some kind of professional's guide to fire eating, something that claimed I, to be the number one book on fire eating, and yeah. that was written by a... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh wait, a, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. How did you get that? If only we knew where it was available, maybe at, hold on, wait for it. Oh, look, at Amazon.com, the Professional's Guide to Fire Eating. And if you want to see something kind of interesting, Professional's Guide to Fire Eating, I wrote this several years ago, and I didn't know this until after I hired Captain MG, Mike Galante, but this is what a psycho, psycho stalkerazzi he is. I go down... <laughs> Uh, and I'm reading the, the reviews here. Let's see if we got the... There we go. Five reviews. And then look at this. Here it comes. By Mike Galante. Look at that. Back when you were in Chicago right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And I liked what you wrote. You wrote, uh, you won't get burned. Well, you won't get burned in a figurative sense. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clever. And now I'm sitting here reading it, which is almost as bad. Would it, would it pay off for a very long con right here on Ustream? Are you talking about the... Uh, uh, what made front page? Oh, uh, our dig story made the front page. I gotta stop doing. It. I gotta. I I've See, got. Here I was looking over at your. I screen know and... you shouldn't. You shouldn't trust me. You cannot trust me. I can't look at the chat screen. Uh, I'm gonna call it the chat screen from now on. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of minutes here to see if you have anything for us as far as um, topics goes. Because I really don't have anything, and, and my brain was sort of fried going into this. We actually, this was interesting. Setting up the show, I'm a little bit intimidated because I go a long time between doing the gigs. And it takes me a while to kind of get back in the zone and get my head on straight. And right. so, I mean, it took what normally would have been like 30 minutes to, oh, yeah, throw this prop here and two of these and some Happy Pants t-shirts and we're good to go. I mean, it was like it was like a three-hour ordeal yeah, yeah. to set yeah, everything out. Douche. You well, know, no, 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 and it's not just way. you. It's it's like I'm. I mean, it's been two months since I've done a show. You guys saw. Look at some of the archived uh, live shows, and I look like a hippie. I got the long hair and the the, sh the shitty mustache. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not that I still now I got the fake five o'clock shadow thing, which is not much of an improvement. But I, I'm all cleaned up and I'm ready to get back on the road. We got uh, we got seven shows, seven live gigs all across the United States. I'm each in a difference. Are you psyched? I'm psyched. This is huge. Are you are you psyched about waking up at uh, at four in the morning tomorrow? Ready to get up before before the sun rises. Get on a plane and just jet off to uh, some Xanadu. Yeah, I don't think you realize. Uh, not only will you be getting up before the sun rises, you'll be on the plane before the sun rises. <laughs> the sun will be rising as you rise above the clouds. Pretty much. It's it's, it's pretty harsh. Are you okay without sleep? Because I don't know how this is going to go. I, you know what? I've done okay. I, yeah? I did okay in Europe on just uh, two, three hours of sleep every day for about two weeks. I, I think I can handle are you able? Are you able to sleep on a plane without any trouble? You put me anywhere I can fall asleep. All right. All right. I might fall asleep right here. That's, you know what? I don't blame you. That's, That's how I'm feeling right now. Hold on. Wait. You need to go to instantrimshot.com and go. Oh. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a short break. Mm. Yeah, that that video that you're mentioning, Magic Man, and I did look, which slapped me again. Uh, I, I hesitate to go to YouTube to play it. I had it around here somewhere, but I guess I didn't actually put it someplace to access it. So I am gonna have to, if I want to play it, it's gonna have to be on. YouTube, which might go very badly because YouTube likes to hurt the feelings. Started looking at quad core Phenom processor setups. Found one for a thousand dollars. Almost bought it. It's practically free. It's well, I, I almost bought it, but then I was just like, I you probably ought to shop a little bit. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. So uh, once I once I start doing all that. Oh, somebody wants to know what's the Skype name. The Skype name, if only we had some kind of indicator some kind of graphic of that sorts. would, yeah, something that, that would make would it easy for everyone to know oh, so, how to call in. Look at that to the uh, to the BB Live show. All right, so this okay, is the, let's uh, see if this brain hemorrhages. Oh, it brain hemorrhaged. Oh. What it is, it uses a knife, four styrofoam cups, uh, and a turntable. Hey, there we go. The knife goes in the turntable where it can spin around, and then I cover up the knife with one of the styrofoam cups. The remaining three spots are also covered up with styrofoam cups, and then I spin it fast enough 
that nobody can see where it goes. In a live performance, I might uh, obstruct the view of the audience for just a bit so that me, neither me nor the uh, audience knows where the knife is. And then I make my psychic selection, and if all goes well... Oh! Oh! Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny story about that video, and uh, apparently somebody <clears throat> somebody had just watched it. <laughs> Some, this say, I think this is the same you streamer that's been begging for me to reveal <laughs> how to do it for real for a long time. I will tell you how I did it in this. I will tell you how, how I did it in this. A lot of people will take some two or three go rounds to figure it out, but I'll actually tell you right in advance. All right, so this is the uh, Russian roulette routine it I was is, telling you about. Uh, it's already on the back of my hand, it uses a and if you watch knife. closely, if you watch closely on this hand, you can see it flash real close at the beginning. All right, so this is the, watch uh, the Russian back of this roulette hand. routine I was telling you about. Uh, oh, do you see it right there? What it is, it uses a knife. And I just keep this hand and the back table. to the, the knife goes camera the, the entire time. Where it can spin around, and then I cover up the knife with one of the styrofoam cups. The remaining three spots are also covered up with styrofoam cups, and then I spin it fast enough that nobody can see where it goes. In a live performance, I might uh, obstruct the view of the audience for just a bit, so that me, neither me nor the uh, audience knows where the knife is. And then I make my psychic selection, and if all goes well... And you can see, like, complete oh. with the fake blood. Oh. And I think that was actually a gum wrapper that we wrapped around a cardboard cutout oh, yeah. on there. But it looked good enough. We actually, somebody pointed out, somebody called it too too fuzzy, which, yeah, it is. It was We shot it intentionally on low-definition equipment so that it would look like a genuine one of those ghetto uh, YouTube videos. Sure. It's sort, of sort of redundant to call it ghetto and YouTube. Somebody called during that, and I'm going to call this person back. I don't know who this is. This is Alan Smolin. And uh, if that's you, Alan Smolin, feel free. To, maybe we should adopt a callback policy because people call at the strangest times and they kind of muck stuff up and jump in there when nothing's going on. If you want to be on the show with no agenda and very little time left, go ahead and Skype in at bbliveshow.com. Hmm, hmm. Oh, it's Andy Kraft. We'll go ahead and take Andy's call. We like Andy. Andy Kraft, are you there, buddy? Still waiting. It says cannot. Oh, cannot hold currently active call. Sorry. Let me kill this, and then I'll answer that. And now let's see what happens. Andy, are you there, bud? I am. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can. Fantastic. Let me actually get you centered on the screen over here. It's been a while. How have you been, sir? Not too bad. How about yourself? Uh, been doing well. It's a little bit tough getting back on the horse and planning on getting up crazy early and. All of those shenanigans that uh, being on the road involves. Although it is going to be good to make some money. Some of you guys know that we bought a new house. And I guess for some reason, buying a new house is like a free coupon to be an idiot and spend all the money you have. And decide, hold on now. Hold on. Somebody's doing something interesting. Hang on there, Derek. I'm going to deny you now. We'll get back to you later. Uh, Andy Kraft, if I'm not mistaken here. Looks like you're sporting a vid blaster trial bubble. Is that what's going on? I know I am. Which, here we which go. Which way do I get a point here? Yeah, that's it. Takes you a little bit. How are you liking the vid blaster so far? Um, on Vista, it runs so much better than on XP. No kidding. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. What's that? Oh, he's too low. All right, we'll turn both him up. Of you. Both, both of us. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Me, me, and him. Mainly Skype. All right, this is. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank this up. Oh, now we're into feedback land. Oh, That's right. I goes. blame you, chat room. Hold on. Actually, I blame these speakers being you way went too low. 12. It went to 12? Yeah, you there bypassed you 11. All right, say something, Andy. Uh, uh, there you go. Keep talking, Andy. Keep talking. Work with me. Uh, this is real one quiet. Two. One, two. Can you hear me? Yeah, keep keep going. I'm trying to set your levels here. Anymore. I had it set to, uh, to, to peek into the red. But for some reason, it's really, really staying down, and I'm having to crank this thing way the hell up. Is, that, is it me? It, it might be you. Is he still low? Yeah, your mic might be too low. I can also, you know what else I can do? Mm, your audio quality is really low, too. Finally, I'm glad we got to the meat of the show. As always, the meat is us saying, no, I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you. Can I scream? 
I mean, how, wh- wh- where's he at? Is he okay to just yell out what he's saying? <laughs> I don't know. Just take care of it that way. I mean, I could hear him all right now. Do I sound super loud now? Yeah, I thought I, thought I was too loud. Um, that's the problem with... Yeah. So, okay, so suddenly when he came on, it got really loud. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that really what happened? I turned it down a bit. I don't know if I'm still... Yeah, you know what? It's still in the red. There yeah, we we're go. trying. We're trying. There we go. Bringing oh, it down. Oh, yay. The red oh, right about there. I sound like Mr. Abby Vance. How do I sound now? Is that good? That's what I thought. Good now. So, well, we, we lost Andy. Andy turned tail, blew out of there. Oh, and now he's back. We'll see if he's back now. He's probably went to adjust some sound settings. Andy, are you back with us, phone. bud? Yeah, can you hear me better now? No, nah, you're still super quiet, man. Let me uh, let me look at your... Andy, do you have a megaphone you I could change... use? Yeah, do you have a megaphone? I changed mics here. Here, keep talking. Keep talking. Um, Say the alphabet, testing, buddy. I'm yelling. I'm yelling now. Are you really yelling? My end is red. I'm red on my end. Oh, you're red, all right. Oh, he's there we go. Now say, yes. say something else. Uh, testing. Can you hear me now? Yeah, this is this is super uber shitty, but that's all right. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and crank up the main on here. I didn't want to have to mess with this thing exactly, but there we go. We'll turn up the master. Now say something, Andy. <laughs> Uh, testing, testing my mic. Can you hear me now? I guess that's as good, good. we're going to get. Is that going to work for you guys? Oh, wait, and now I am. You're right. It takes my volume down super low when he comes in. Look at that. That's on bananas. on the VU meter. That's bananas. Yeah, are you watching this? I'm watching it. Here. Um, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, but I don't Is believe it. Is it auto-adjusted? Here, and then I could crank this up, and now just barely. Look at this. I have this cranked way the hell up, and you can still just barely get it. All right, now this is this is effed up. I'm not quite sure I follow these shenanigans. I'm gonna have to check this out. That's all right. I'll eat the mic. I'll eat the mic and continue to talk like this. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So what's going on, Andy? What's got you calling the show? Uh, I got a question about fire eating, actually. Which uh, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Hey, um, look at that! Hey. He's got the professional's guide to fire eating, the world's foremost. You know, that's the book that Sanjay Gupta has an autographed copy of, The Surgeon General of the United States of America. Hey, and people want to know who Andy is. Who is Andy? Yeah, yeah Andy, who are you, man? Sure. Talk to us. Who are you? Uh, I'm this guy, that guy. He's just this guy, you know? Guy. Yeah, Andy's, yes, I'm, Andy's I'm just that this guy. guy. Not that guy, that guy. You're the, okay, got it. So what's, what's your question about the fire eating? Um, well, and we lost him. That's uh, Andy. We got to talk about the uh, consistency of your internet connection, there, buddy. Um, not gonna hold that. Ag- oh, and I bet I'm. I bet I'm hugely loud again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You are. Yeah. See, I figured that out on my own. At least there we go. And now I'm back down. That is stasis. messed up. Back that is stasis. messed up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a call from Derek here and see if that does the same thing. That's really messing me up. It's me. Hey, what's going on, Derek? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> hey, where are you? Where are you, buddy? One second. One second. <laughs> Uh-oh. Like a... <laughs> like <I'm> not... <laughs> a female. Why isn't it working? working? No, wait. And you know what? It's going to make me... Uh, Skype's going to make me crank up the volume again for some unknown reason. That's very odd. I wonder... Uh, oh, you know what I bet it is? We've got... You guys are, are total... You're shrouded in darkness. I'm not sure yeah. what the story is there. It's a magician. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Where are you guys? We're at Union College. Oh, get out of town. You guys are going to be there for the show tomorrow. Fantastic. Absolutely. You're you're totally in the dark. It's hurting my feelings. What I is going on? Do we have to? Hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. You, me- you mess it up, Derek. So Stop. Derek's loud. <laughs> there we go. Derek's loud and Brian's low. Here, talk to me, Derek. I'm a quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. <laughs> there you go. I like that. It sounds like you got a few people there in the room. There's a couple. Yeah, that's cool. So how many folks are you guys? Oh, wait. Okay, I'm, you, you got black. Are you all dressed in black and it's at night and you're <laughs> in a shrouded fog? Is that what's going on? Exactly. Here, I'll show you. If you're watching the Ustream, if you're watching the Ustream this is me. And I'm going to put live via Skype. Yeah. No. Nobody. Why is it working, Derek? Hey, look, it's Derek's room. Yeah, it's Derek's room. Derek lives in a dark closet Wait. Well, <laughs> next, to, next to Harry Potter. All right. One second, let me let me call you back. All right, all right, you get that worked out. We'll bring you back on. This is huge. We have we've never ever had somebody call in. I'm gonna hang up on you here, Derek. You call back when you can. 
And because I'm hanging up on Derek, that means I got to bring my volume back down. There you go, because it goes crazy. Yep, we 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 got that much. There we go. That's that. Okay. That's all right, right there. Yeah. Don't know why. Don't know why it's doing that. For some reason, you know what it is. I bet it's one of the settings I have in Skype where when it initiates a conversation, I bet I turned my mic down on Skype so that when it initiates the conversation, it immediately turns it down in the main Microsoft mixer as well. And so we got him coming back on the phone. I'm going to hit play here, and then I'm going to crank this up. There we go. How are you guys doing? And I'm going to crank this up. Oh, now I'm hearing myself. We got the loop. You got to turn off the Ustream. All right. All right, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Show us some video. Oh, here it goes. Do it. Hey. hey, there we go. Joining us live via Skype in a first ever situation. We've got people from the audience tomorrow at Union College joining us right here in Austin, Texas. This oh, is huge. Holy cow, we got a bunch of you guys. How many folks are there in the room? One, two, three, four, six. 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 Bad ass. Okay, now I got a question because I never know what I'm in for when I come to when I come to a college. And I know I played uh, Union College last school year, but I think it was technically 2007. So technically two years ago, but realistically like one year ago. Uh, were any of you guys at that show a, a couple years back? No, we're all freshmen. Okay, and so how how what kind of job are they doing on promoting the show? There's there's a couple flyers up. A couple of flyers <laughs> up. Did you hear that? We we merited a couple of flyers. <laughs> Crumpled in the trash. Uh, okay, now here's the real question. Are there any rabbits and or hats on those flyers? I think there's a wand. Isn't there a wand? I have no idea. A wand. Know. Of course no, there is. There's big smiley faces. I'm going to go get a flyer. Smile. <laughs> oh, you, you, please, actually, we'll go, get go get one of the flyers. This is going to be huge. So you guys, uh, you guys obviously are somehow plugged in because you actually, you actually were hip enough to. Because I don't really publicize this, this whole, uh, this whole show that I'm doing, and I'm using air quotes here because it's not really a show. I'm, I'm like a toddler with a drum. I just beat it and I say, "Look at me, look at me," because I've got, I'm, I'm trying to be bad before I can get good here. So this is an uh, opportunity for me to experiment with live video switching and, and for building an audience online and stuff. How did you find out? about my, my secret place to be bad? Twitter. Twitter. So, okay, so how did you find about about the Twitter? Watching you on Revision 3. Oh, wait. So you, you on Revision 3. Oh, so you were already hip to the show on Revision 3. You were already hip to Scam School. Yeah. Okay, Scam. which, see, this is new for me because what happened was I had my spring, my spring semester, and I'm looking over here. I'm looking here. I'm going to, I'm looking over here at Captain, uh, Captain Mike Galante here. Uh, what happened was, is I had my spring semester last year, which was a very busy tour. And then we launched scam, sc scam school and went into the summer, which is traditionally a downtime. And fall is normally when I do a fall tour, but this year Universal Studios had me back again. So I've had a few college shows here and there, and there've been a few people who kind of knew who I was, but Union College will be the first college show I've done since scam schools had traction and has been out there. And my triumphant yeah. return to the college circuit. So that's right. The red carpet. That's right. Nobody can hear you, I'm sure, because I because oh, you're cranked right. all the way down okay, because well, of right. some kind of Skype shenanigans. Work. That's all right. That's you all know right. what I'm going to do, actually, while I have you guys on the line? So, uh, <laughs> you want to see your flyer? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is lovely. <laughs> Ten, Derek, you liar. Oh, is it it's 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 orange. It's quite nice. It, really it is. It is orange. Look, you guys. Okay, look. I'm gonna ask you guys as a personal favor to put the word out and let them know that it's not rabbits and hats. That uh, <laughs> that it's gonna be a little more punk rock magic. Did you guys? Yeah, they're complimenting the flyer in the chat room right now. And that even though I promised I wouldn't look in the, at the flyer. Uh, I mean, at the chat room. Uh, okay, well, so do you guys know what to expect? Yeah, have you watched, like, uh, Scam School for a long time, or you caught a few episodes? What's your story? I and saw you in New York City with Dignation. So you actually saw the show live? Yeah. Oh, that's badass. That's the super fans <laughs> right there. You're not one of those three guys that drove down from, from upstate New York. Uh, uh, so, what? Uh, well, there were three guys that drove down from upstate New York. You weren't one of them. I mean, three guys I met that night is what I'm saying. But I guess it's not you from that weird look you're no. giving me. Meanwhile, everybody's complimenting uh, the, the beautiful word, use of word art. You want to hold that back up? That's, uh, that's, that's MS word art. That's not bad. 
I'm waiting. Mavrev Mav says, uh, I'm waiting for Dignation and Brian to come to DFW. You know what? I can't say anything. <laughs> I can't say anything. But it's not, I mean, it's not DFW per se. We, we want to be volunteers tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'll tell you how I pick the volunteers. Is uh, yeah, It really is. There, there are a few things that are totally gender specific. I'm looking for a guy or a, or a girl or you know somebody about yay tall or, or whatever. Uh, and almost across the board is whoever's hand goes first, right? Not necessarily whoever's the loudest because that's not always helpful. But, but, but whoever's hand goes first, they're definitely into it. And if you guys are there early on, it, it'll work out. It'll work out great. And come up, come up after the show, and 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 definitely say hey because uh, uh, this is huge. This is I've never had people who knew where I was before I was coming to the college. This is awesome. Are you gonna bring the books? Um, I'll, I will have cheese con swindles and tricks, and I'm I'm low on Mr. Happy Pants shirts. I don't have all the. Oh, do you want the fire eating book? Is that what you're talking about? No, I want I want a shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, that the Mr. Happy Pants shirts were a little bit scatter shot on sizes. But what what size are you? You're a large. Medium or large. Yeah. We, okay. We've got larges of both varieties. So you'll be all right there. All right, uh, this is huge. This is. I can't wait to see you guys. Anything I should know about uh, about Union College that I didn't learn before? Yeah, we're we're a tough crowd. You better watch out. Are you? Yeah. Really? Or are you just saying no. that? No, not, not really. <laughs> okay, I was about to, I was about to say I don't think you guys you guys don't don't look like you're gonna kick my ass or anything when you show up. How big have the events been? How many people have you guys been getting for the events so far this year? A couple hundred. No, no, no. absolutely not. <laughs> well, probably, hopefully, you'll get around. You know, like hundred, like fifty or forty. No, so like more, than no, that. more than that. Like in, seventy-five. More than that. In Old Chapel. Where? Right. At Old Chapel. Let's say Old Chapel. There's like a hundred. There's like a hundred. All right. Okay, so 100 people. What would yeah. be a phenomenal turnout? 100. Well, our school is only like like 2,500. Okay, so like what, 2,400, 2,300? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys as a personal favor to me. First of all, I, I am the biggest fan of you guys already off the bat. But if you can, if you can. Hustle up and get – I mean, obviously, you guys are quite a crew yourselves. But if you were to get more people and come showing up and just bring a giant posse and it's just a phenomenal turnout, there might be a, there might be a little something in it for you after the show, a little bit of thank you. Ooh. All I'm saying <laughs> – I'll can, see you later. If you can point to <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Spiky well. Pants. <laughs> I've got a date with a shirt, sir. How big, how big is uh, – you guys are in Schenectady. Is that right? I'm going to say Yeah. Mm. Yeah, what's the story on? Do you guys charge tickets? Is this students only, or or are they going to care if outsiders try to come? No, it's it's free. It's sponsored by the school. And uh, do you th do you get the vibe that the brass that were bringing me in would be okay with uh, with just random people from the community showing up or what? Totally, it's totally fine. Really? Oh, you're going to say that now, and I'm going to I'm going to blame you guys right here. Luckily, I'll have a permanent record of this conversation. I'll play that clip for them. Totally yeah, fine. Get us kicked out of college. That'd be nice. Yeah, especially bringing a bunch of homeless men and uh, <laughs> drinking out of drinking out of paper bags. That'd be fantastic. Okay, any requests? Anything to any do's or don'ts for the show? You got to show us how to do that cup trick. Oh, the which one? The one where the where where it pokes out my 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 fist at the man. Oh, I didn't get to finish my story. You guys will like this. So so that little thing I was playing. You guys watched that with the the knife trick gone wrong, right? Yeah. I made that as a joke because I was putting together some pitches for the Tonight Show because they were asking me to come up with some ideas to come back on the show. And uh, I sat on it for like a year and a half, and I'm like, well, I'm not doing anything with this. So I just threw it up on YouTube, and I and as a joke, I listed it as original knife test footage like, uh, and just acted like this is the first time I tried the trick, and this is the original footage of it. And apparently a lot of people think that that's – really me screwing up and stabbing myself and enough people started forwarding it around that randomly somebody forwarded it to one of my parents friends saying hey look at this tool and the guy <laughs> looks at it, he's like dude that's brian <laughs> and he forwards it to my mom and my mom had never seen it. it yeah and mom's just like well i don't remember you didn't have a bandage on what the heck and so uh, that was kind of cool. Somebody forwarded. I guess. I guess that's how you know you're viral is when somebody forwards one of your videos to your parents, yeah. not having an idea who you are or or that the parents wouldn't have any idea. Did she try the uh, 
the smoke thing. What? Dude, are you guys gonna try the the, the human chimney? Yeah. All right, do it. Bust it out. We gotta we get. We don't have matches. We gotta we? get some matches. We got a lighter. Yeah. What we do can't do it with a lighter. What's, no, you can't do it with a lighter. <laughs> What's funny is I'm such an idiot. I actually was like, no, no, I got matches. Go ahead. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. It doesn't quite work that way. The Digitron yeah. 8000 isn't just there just yet. Just breathe in the poison and it'll work very nicely. Have you guys tried the, 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 the jack-o'-lantern or any of the other stuff? No. Do you, do you know about the jack-o'-lantern? No. You didn't? Oh, yeah, I see. No, there are. Yeah, there we go. We'll sh shut off the lights. We'll yeah. see if we can do this. This is the... I'm gonna show you. There's. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do it because Thanks. you can. You can go to scam school. I don't know if it's dark enough in here. Nothing. No reaction whatsoever. <laughs> Dead silence. <laughs> they're, stupefied. they're stupefied. They're they're blown away beyond amazement. Is is what that is. Holy crap. How many uh, times do you burn yourself? It depends on how drunk I am. I've only had one beer tonight, so that was very little. But uh, but there have been times that I've had a little bit too much to drink, and then um, uh, and I'm like, no, nah, it feels fine. It feels totally fine. I don't feel it at all. And then the next morning, I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't talk <laughs> because I get a little bit burned. Uh, yeah, dude. So, um, man, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what else there is to really say. I wish you know, I hang out with you guys all night. That's cool. Are all you guys? Right. Uh, uh, you know what? what? Mm. I don't know what the plans are after the show tomorrow night. It's a late show because the show starts at 10. We'll finish it around uh, 11, 20 or so, and then we got to pack up. If we pack up by midnight, you know, we, uh, we've got, we don't, our flight doesn't leave till 3 p.m. the next day. So we could sleep in all the way until, until midnight. <laughs> until, not a dry campus. <laughs> yeah, it's not, well, I, we're not going to talk about the campus. It's, it's, I don't know if the campus is dry or wet, but I know oh. my hotel room is not dry. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, cool, man. I guess that's it. I'll uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, very excited. Please bring everyone to the show, and there just might be a happy pants shirt in it for you. Ooh, all right. Yeah, we'll but see you tomorrow. All right, take care, guys. That was Derek from Union College. A big surprise. That was a. Ooh, and I bet I'm loud. Oh. Did you see what I did? I remembered. I remembered all on my own to turn it down. There we go. Oh, good question. Are you going to broadcast the show? Uh, I will say this in case. Derek is still on the line. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize very much for that. How do you sound? Do you want to do a mic check? Uh, mic check, mic check. Yeah, you sound good. That's me. You're also a quieter talker than I am. I am. I have a tendency to shout every word. I'm like, hi, I'm Brian, and I project energy by screaming all the time. Well, I'm only on my second beer, so. <laughs> Let's see. They, they, Maybe. They Will it get that? It'll get that way beer. at the end. Uh, okay. It's been, uh, hopefully, if, if, my, if my peeps from Union College are still watching, Okay, now Andy's now Andy's coming on back, which means I'm gonna have to crank this back up. Oh, Derek's up. there. Derek's Derek's there. Union College. I, oh, Derek. Okay, Derek is there. I, yeah. Uh, there. Okay, good. If you're listening, oh, let me get this cranked, cranked up, cranked up. I think I got my mic. Here. Okay, well, it's not my, it's not your fault. Yeah, no. It turns out it has something to do with Skype, and I have my mic. Well, I had some settings that were screwed up too. Okay, well, well, hold on, hold on one second, Andy. Uh, I did want to say uh, for the for for those of you guys. Um, I forgot. Dang it. Yeah, there was something I needed them to do or to bring, and it was like super important. And now I don't remember what it was. What were we? What were we talking about just before we got to this part? Um, talking about the volume of voices. Yeah, but before that, that's what distracted me. That was what distracted me was the volume of voice things. Uh, well, you know what? How about Derek? Just stand by. All right, all right. If it comes back, I yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's it. Yeah, streaming the show, broadcasting the show. Yeah. Uh, you know, we were able to do that because uh, uh, Johnny Zavant uh, had a Mac that that just happened to have a. Uh, it was not being used for anything, and it had the camera on it, so we would just set it up and do it. The my computer also has a camera, but I use it during the show to run all the sound and stuff. So if one of you guys have a laptop with a camera, we'll go ahead and set it up. If there's Wi-Fi on campus and one of you guys has a laptop, we'll go ahead and, and log in and we'll broadcast it live via the Ustream. You guys can watch the show live. If you haven't caught one of the live shows, you can see it in tiny postage stamp format and just imagine how much better it would be. Uh, and uh, Skype just crashed. So I will back over here. Oh, not only did Skype crash, but it crashed and kept...
my settings up. They can they can still hear us over there, right? Yes. Uh, they just have a webcam, but if you bring the camera, they got your back. They they just have a laptop or the webcam? No, they just have a webcam. No no laptop. That's they, a good they have I'll, a. I'll figure this out. All right. All right. It's it's ten o'clock East Coast time, nine o'clock Central, eight o'clock Mountain, seven o'clock. Uh, nothing's lined up for Houston just yet. I would love to do Houston, but nothing's quite set up for that yet. I guess what if I took the main and did this with it? How does that sound to you guys? Yes, yes, no. DC Baltimore, yeah, I'm, uh, got two shows in the DC Baltimore area. I'm going to be at Towson State University this month and uh, Longwood University out in Farmville, Virginia, which is a couple. It doesn't have to be a webcam built into a PC. It could be a PC and a webcam. I don't know. So it's a, oh, okay. Derek says he has a Mac, sure, Mac with Mac. a with a, with a a webcam built in. Okay. Yeah. So that works? Yeah, that'll do. Nothing in Southern California. By the way, all of this stuff is up at the website. If you guys want to check out the tour schedule, I think right now it is up to date. Sort of. <laughs> um, and I don't have oh, my website on there. I don't Travis have schwid.com. Tra Travis, Travis Lopes got it. Thanks, Travis. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, Travis Lopes right there in the chat room has it for you. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, like I promised, this is going to be a short edition. We didn't really have an agenda or anything to say. Uh, yeah, definitely come to the Towson Show. Make sure to let me know. Would love to make it to Houston. I make it out there pretty regularly. Um, in fact, most of the schedule is surprisingly light. You know, that's the one downside of uh, doing the Universal Studios. I spend, when I'm not doing the college shows, I spend a lot of time hustling, trying to set up shows. I, it's kind of like yeah. farming. You plant the seeds and you, you reap the crops later on. But I went a whole three months without planting any seeds because I was busy doing the, <laughs> I was busy doing the uh, Universal Studio shows. Which by the way, if you're out there in, the, in California or, or in Florida, uh, definitely bug the people over at Universal Studios. Tell them that you want me back so that uh, so that I can go back because I loved doing those shows. Those guys were a blast. It was a lot of fun. Would love to do it. Okay, guys. Um, oh, wait. What's the bad PR for Brian? Hold on. You voted no? Bad PR for Brian? Oh, no coming, no scamming yeah, NPR. Man. Yeah, I don't see any way. I don't see a way to scam NPR. Maybe if you want to just call and have a thoughtful question and maybe – Ask in reference or say, oh, I don't know, there's a show called Scam School. You know, something like that would be fine. But but that would be, uh, you know, that that's about as, as, as hard a deal as mainly what I want to do is I want to get a copy of it because I want to listen to these experts and see if they'd be right for this program that uh, that I was thinking of or that I will be doing. It's, it's going to be an exciting program. I'm a little bit excited about it. All right, guys, as always, I'm going to send you out with a sweet, sweet mashup. And I did not pick one out in advance. So we're going to play... A little bit of mashup Russian roulette here. There were a couple of these that I, I went through and heard a good one. And I believe, oh, this one. This one's kind of, I don't know how much of this one I'll be able to take. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this sounds. I don't know if you guys can hear this. <laughs> This is Doobie Brothers. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, let's see if I can do something better for you guys. Oh, here we go. Here's Wang Chung. And, uh, oh, that's pretty good with ACDC. Pretty good. But this is the one I wanted to play for you guys. This is Wang Chung and uh, and the Man in Black, Johnny Cash. Here we go.
Fire. The ring of fire. 